So today is June 2nd, Sunday, and it's time to prep for the overall trading week. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions. Overall NASDAQ market, QQQ, um, experienced a nice little pullback to the moving average and now working its way back up to that EMA. I quickly wanted to talk about what's on schedule for this week's with the series of economic reports, you know, Fed speaking, as well as the series of different earning reports that are going to be released. This video is going to be super short and sweet, just straight to the point, just talking about and highlighting what's the most important thing that's going to be talked about this week. So on Monday, which is tomorrow, right at market open, uh, 15 minutes after the market opens, we have manufacturing PMI, 30 minutes after the market opens, we have construction spending and ISM manufacturing. Uh, and then we have auto sales. Supposedly, it's still to be announced. On Tuesday, we have factory orders and job openings that's going to be released 30 minutes after the market opens at 10 a.m. Eastern time. On Wednesday, a little bit more important, this one's going to be about one hour and 15 minutes before the market actually opens, and that's the ADP employment change. And then 30 minutes after the market opens, we have the ISM services. And then again, uh, one hour before the market opens, we have two series of economic reports that, again, shouldn't be too, too influential. And then we have the overall U.S. service PMI going to be released 15 minutes after the market opens. Thursday, one hour before the market opens, we have initial uh, initial claims and continuing claims. Those always get released on Thursday, so just a little heads up on that. And that's one hour before the market opens at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. On Friday, the most important report, in my opinion. You guys let me know down uh, in the comment section. So Friday, June 7th, we have the unemployment rate that's going to be released. We also have consumer credit, wholesale inventories, U.S. hourly wages, and uh, hourly wages year over year. In my opinion, the most important report for this entire week is going to be that U.S. unemployment rate. Remember, and again, I just like to explain why, a big focus for the Federal Reserve has been maintaining our unemployment at where it's at, so relatively low unemployment, which currently sits at 3.9%, and our forecast is also 3.9%. So remember, like we are trying to understand what the Federal Reserve what needs to be able to cut interest rates. So if they see unemployment going down, that wouldn't necessarily be viewed as a positive thing, which again, it sounds like a really weird thing to think about, but unemployment going down does not support the case that the economy is actually slowing down. And remember, the Federal Reserve wants to see signs of the economy slowing down with inflation coming down, right? And, and less spending and less hiring so they can support the idea of cutting interest rates because they don't want to make sure that they begin to cut interest rates while unemployment's still super low, and then we go through this whole cycle all over again. So the whole idea is they want unemployment to pretty much stay where it's at, and then right now they're just working on getting that overall uh, inflation rate down. Uh, and with that, they can possibly justify cutting interest rates sooner than later. But if they end up seeing unemployment rate is lower for higher. Um, I don't necessarily believe that the market will react in a positive way. And it's a really weird way, way to think about where we want more people to be unemployed. And it's not necessarily that that's what we want. It's just that if the labor market begins to slow down, then the Federal Reserve can justify possibly cutting interest rates sooner than later, right? And that means that if unemployment actually goes up. So I wouldn't be surprised if the unemployment rate comes in at 3.9 and 4%, 4.1, that the market could actually react in a positive way. And it's not so much because, oh, less people are unemployed. That's not what we're cheering for. Um, the market would react in a positive way because unemployment's going up, which means that, may, hey, maybe the Federal Reserve could justify cutting interest rates sooner than later to get that unemployment down. Make sense? So I hope that it does. Um, other than that, when it comes down to the series of earning reports on Monday, relatively a pretty slow uh, overall day. Uh, on Tuesday, we have Beth and Body Works, very random companies being released, not with very large market caps. Uh, Wednesday before the market opens, we have Dollar Tree. After the market closes, we have Lululemon. That's probably going to be one of the ones that I pay the most attention to. And then Neo. Neo and DocuSign, again, some of the larger companies that are going to be reporting. But Lululemon, Neo, and DocuSign reporting earnings. The reason that I'm pointing out Lululemon is because Lulu has recently pulled on back quite a bit. So it's going to be very interesting to see since their last earnings, when they gapped down, they've been still selling off. 
So we'll see again when they report earnings um, this week, if we continue to see more selling pressure or if this could be where it actually begins to indicate signs of a recovery or a reversal. And I want to remind you, we came from highs of $500. We are now testing previous lows of about $300 per share. So are we going to gap back down or are we finally going to gap back up? Which again, I mean, this is, this is a huge company with a pretty decent market cap and a very successful company over a long period of time. If you guys haven't seen its performance before, maybe it's something to pay attention to. And again, uh, we will be going live a little bit later today for our Sunday Stock Talk, where we will talk about what are the top stocks that I plan to pay attention to this week. And we also just break down a bunch of different stocks that our viewers see value in. So if you've never tuned on in, just subscribe to the channel, drop a thumbs up on this video, and right around 6.30 p.m., uh, uh, Pacific Standard Time will go live and I could br uh, break down whatever stock it is that you share in our live chat. So um, Lululemon is probably going to be one that I talk about and it's just because yes, it is about to report earnings and it's extremely oversold based off of previous patterns. So definitely something that I think is worth watching. Do you have to buy it right now? Heck no. Uh, is it worth watching maybe after it reports earnings? Maybe it could begin to indicate signs of recovery? Possibly. It's something that I'm definitely very excited to follow up with. So hope that earned your thumbs up. Hope and wish you guys an amazing Sunday. I'll see you at 6 30 p.m pacific standard time for our sunday stock talk and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below appreciate your time like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take care team